Say hi. Hi. <laughs> what are you playing with? That's safe. Yeah. That's safe. That is. What you playing with? That's safe. Yeah. Okay, Chase. <coughs> huh? Oh, now you want to get back in, huh? No. Bye. Bye, Bye, <laughs> Bye <laughs> Okay, Chase. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Nurse Lexi. So we're talking about the job outlook for RNs, NPs, and CRNAs. Um, before we get started, let me know if you like my intro. It took me forever to make it, even though it's like less than 10 seconds. But let me know if you like it, if you're new. Welcome to my channel. If not, welcome back. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into it. So most of these numbers I got from the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. So if you do want to get some more information about whatever I talk about, just go ahead and Google Bureau of Labor and Statistics. And you can Google like whatever nursing profession that you're interested in. So we're going to start with RNs. And I got my notes. <laughs> we're going to start with RNs. The median pay for RNs in the United States is um, annually $71,730. So you do have to take into account what state you live in, the cost of living where you live, things like that, because some states start nurses at $20, some states start nurses at like almost $40, or maybe more, or maybe some nurses even start lower than $20. So you really do have to take into account where you live, but um, basically for the whole US, all the states, the annual average for nurse is 71,730. And then as far as the outlook, I know I hear people talking all the time about how like oversaturated nursing is, and like everybody wants to be a nurse, you know? But then you also hear people say, be a nurse because you'll always have a job. So it's really conflicting. So according to the numbers, the facts, the nurse facts, according to the numbers, the job outlook for registered nurses is an increase in 12% of jobs for the next 10 years. So basically that's a good outlook because that is a much faster than the average for other career choices and other professions. So if you do wanna get into nursing, um, I would say listen to the numbers. The numbers say that there is a good, like the profession looks good and it's going to continue to grow for the next 10 years. Um, and basically that's backed up by the fact that people are living longer. You have like all the baby boomers and things like that. You have people that need more outpatient care. So nurses are always going to be needed um, in all different types of facilities, you know, in long term care in rehab in acute care in um, preventative care, you know, so it looks good. It looks good for us. Um, and then let's just go to CRNA. Um, we'll talk about nurse practitioners after CRNA. So I know a lot of people that want to get into CRNA because that is how you make the big bucks as a nurse. So the average um, annual pay for a certified registered nurse anesthetist is $157,000 a year. So that average is already six figures, 157K. Um, that's a good number. That's like really nice. And what you need to become a CRNA, you need your registered nurse. Um, you need your bachelor's of science in nursing. And then you need like a certain number of years in, a, in um, ICU experience. You need like CCRN. There are certain things. Every school is going to be different. Um, I don't want to give you guys like the exact requirements when it may differ but you do definitely have to do higher education to become a CRNA and it's changing so that you have to get your doctor I think by by 2025 it's gonna be required that if you want to practice as a CRNA you'll need a doctor degree not just a master's degree so if you want to become a CRNA look into that there's also other um, nursing youtubers that talk about their CRNA journey and I'll tag some of them because um, I don't know their handle like right off the bat, but I'll put them somewhere in the video or in the box below. But basically, that is how you make money. Like, that's good money. Um, and the outlook for CRNAs is an increase of 31% over the next 10 years. So 
that's even more than nursing like than just your rn so crna is pretty much in high demand and it's going to be in high demand for the next 10 years and you make like really good money so if you want to be a crna look into that shadow with crna look into the requirements look into the requirements there's so much you can do with nursing so crna is definitely an option and that is the highest paid like nursing specialty basically is becoming a nurse anesthetist that is the highest paid so for a nurse practitioner what you need is at least a master's or you can also get a doctorate and basically you have to like choose a subspecialty within your um, nurse practitioner degree and we're going to be breaking down each like subspecialty and how much they get paid so before we do that the outlook for nurse practitioners is also 31 percent over the next 10 years so that is really good again that's really high compared to other medical professions so nurse practitioners are in high demand and will be for the next 10 years according to bureau of labor and statistics okay so basically family nurse practitioner is the highest paid with an annual of 100,000 nine hundred and ten dollars so if you want to become a family nurse practitioner you're looking at six figures on average um about a hundred k a year not too shabby for adult primary care nurse practitioner you're looking at one hundred and seven thousand a year so that's really good remember guys these are the averages for all the pays i'm talking about which means that half of the people are getting more half of the people are getting less so um adult primary care you're looking at one hundred and seven thousand dollars a year for adult acute care nurse practitioner which means that you work in the hospital setting acute care setting you're looking at a hundred and five thousand a year which again is really good for pediatric primary care nurse practitioner, you're looking at on average $99,000 a year. For psych mental health nurse practitioner, you're looking at on average $97,000 a year. So a little less than um, the adult primary and acute care, but still pretty good numbers for those nurse practitioner degrees. I'm just going to throw in there nurse educator because I know a lot of people may not be interested in being a nurse educator, but it's something that I definitely may be interested in. So I wanted to provide that number if anyone else is like me. Um, the average is lower than that of the MPs, but the average is um, 80, about 81,000 a year if you wanted to be a nurse educator. Okay guys, so that was the job outlook and annual pay for registered nurses, CRNAs, NPs, and all the subspecialties, and then nurse educator. I'll put some links down below so that you guys can check out other specialties such as um, pain management nurse that makes about 90k per year, um, nurse midwife that makes about 100k a year, so another six figures if you want to be a nurse midwife, and um, informatics nurse that makes about 83,000 per year clinical nurse specialist, nurse administrator. So there are so many different subspecialties. I just wanted this video to talk more about NP, CRNA, and RN because I feel like those are the most popular within nursing. So don't think that that's the only option that you have. You have a ton of other options. Like I said, administrator, um, educator, health policy nurse, nurse researcher. There's so many routes you can take and I'm gonna put some links um, in the comment box or information box, whatever. So don't forget to open that and look those over so that you can decide what's best for you. And if you guys have any ideas of other videos that you want from me, leave them down below. Let me know how you like this one. Let me know what you are considering for nursing because also, nurse aesthetics is really popular right now. I didn't look into that to see how much they get paid, but that is something that I hear a lot of nurses talking about now, nurse aesthetics. So let me know what you want to do. Nurse aesthetics, if you want to do CRNA, NP. Um, I'm considering CRNA, NP, and nurse educator. So those are my options, but definitely let me know what you're looking into. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.